Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Raghavendra. Today we are going with a hexagonal lamina problem. A hexagonal lamina of size 25 mm rests on one of its corners on H3. The lamina makes 45 degree to H3 and the diagonal passing through the corner on which it rests appears to be inclined at 30 degree to VP. Draw its projections. So it is a hexagonal lamina of 25 mm side. It is resting on HP with one of its corner. So corner has to come towards left side. Lamina makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to HP. That is theta is equal to 45 degree. Whereas diagonal passing through the resting corner appears to be makes an angle of 30 degree with respect to VP. So phi is equal to 30 degree. Whereas as it is appears to be, it is a non-locus problem. So first draw a horizontal line. Name it as X, Y, V, P, H, P. Now construct a hexagonal lamina in H, P resting on corners. If I twenty five sixty twenty five. This is the high center line. Compare this. This is 25 mm. And naming A, B, C, T, E, F. Project the points to the X file. Join these endpoints with thick line. So it will be A dash. So B and C are visible, whereas F and E are invisible. So it will be B dash in the bracket F dash. And this one is C dash in the bracket A dash. And this is D dash. The this completes the first portion. For the second portion, lamina makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to HP. That is, line A dash D dash has to make an angle of 45 degree with respect to XY line. So this should be 45. This is A dash. Whereas this one is D dash. Remaining two points to get that one. Dimension will be 12.5. Same as this one also. This is also 12.5. So A dash as center. 12.5 mm as radius, cut an arc. Similarly, D dash as center, 12.5 mm as radius, cut an arc. So this will give us as our two points B dash in the bracket F dash and C dash in the bracket A dash. Now project the points in downward direction. from this point and from this one also and do project horizontally f and e are on the same line whereas a and d are on the same line sorry b and c This 
this is a b c d e and f join up those parts with thick line A to B to C to D to E to F back to E. This angle will be 45 degree. Show the arrow mark. This completes the second position. For the third position, he has given diagonal passing through the resting corner. Here, resting corner is A. So from A, the diagonal passing through is AD only. This is AD only. So this AD appears to be, as the appears to be word is there, so this is a non-locus problem. So AD has to make an angle of 30 degree with respect to VP. So first draw a 30 degree line. This angle will be 30 degree. Now copy this AD on that line. As it is appears to be, this is a non-locus. Directly copy this one. So this length will be 35.36. So anywhere on this 30 degree line as center, cut an arc of 35.36 center. So this is D, whereas the center will be the E. The center will be the E. So once we got AD, next thing is, to get remaining four corners, we have to draw these two vertical lines. That is line joining FB and EC corners. So the line joining FB and EC are perpendicular to AD and these points are at a distance of 8.84. This is also same thing. This is also 8.84 only. Oh. A as center, 8.84 mm as radius, cut an arc. Similarly, D as center, 8.84 mm as radius, cut another arc. So from these endpoints, draw a line, vertical lines, that is perpendicular to AD for a length of 21.65 mm. Both the side it is 21.65 only. So from this end point, draw a line perpendicular to AD. It has to be perpendicular to AD. The length will be 21.65 mm. So make sure that this line should not cross XY line. Similarly from this end point also. 21.65 mm. So same opposite side also. 21.65 mm. From this end point. 21.65 mm. So this will be B. C, D, this one is E, and this is F. Join all the points with thick line. A to B, C, to D, E, 
f dash k. Now project the points. So first project horizontally from this one horizontal line. Only from C dash and A dash. Horizontal line from D dash also. So all these three lines should be thin lines. Now project vertically also. A is here. A dash it is on XY line till XY line. Whereas B and F till this line. From B till this line. Similarly from F also till this line. There are C and D till this line, from C till this line, same as from E also, and from D till this line. So this is A dash, this one is D dash. B dash, C dash, D dash, and this one is F dash. Then all the six corners with thick line. A dash to B dash, to C dash, to D dash, E dash, F dash, back to A dash. Show the arrow marks. Oh, this completes the problem. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel.